Hi everyone and once again welcome to yet another episode of Shri Ganesh Atharva Shirsha as promised we had the first episode which was made in Marathi and on public demand I'm making another one in English so we are going to have these Ganesh Atharva Shirsha in both languages in two separate videos this is the English version of it today what what shlok from Sri Atharva Shisha we are going to talk about. So in the first episode, if you have not yet heard it, my first episode was only in Marathi. I'll be making an English version soon for all our non-Marathi speakers. So in this episode, I'm going to talk about um, another part of the Atharva Shisha, which is the states of Lord Ganesh. So we all are aware that Lord Ganesh is the remover of all obstacles and he is the one who's first worshipped in case of any if there is any um any worship going on any what we call as puja going on we always begin with om shri ganesha and Maha. so we all are aware that shri ganesh is the one who is worshipped first he is the one who removes all obstacles and who takes away all the negativity from your path we all, he is one of our favorite gods and I think this 12 days of Ganesh Chaturthi, all of us are celebrating this festival with the whole intention of bringing in more positivity in our lives. Now we are today, in today's episode, we are going to talk about a particular shloka from Atharva Shirsha, which is Tvam gunatraya titaha, tvam avastha, tvam, tvam avastha traya titaha. Now, what does these, these words mean? Lord Ganesh is beyond the three states. What are the three states? The three states are Raja, Tama, Sattva. Now, if you have, if, if you even have a slight background of what Raja, Tama, Sattva, you will, you will be knowing what I'm talking about. The three gunas are also called as Raja, Guna, Sattva, Guna and Tama, Guna. Not going into much detail about it, but I'm just going to say Sattva is purity, Sattva is divinity, Sattva is feeling of pure bliss, pure joy, contentment. Raja, on the other hand, is ambition, achievements, materialism, and Tama. Tama is darkness, Tama is laziness. If we, if we talk about the Shadripu in Sanskrit, which is having greed or having um, jealousy, having lust, having anger, all the, all the six Shadripu, they are considered to be, Tama is considered to be the Shadripu. These are the three gunas and this is what makes a person. So when someone, when you come across a person who is kind, loving, content, always happy, always radiating positive energy, Know that there is a dominance of sattva. When you see someone who is highly driven, very ambitious, people sometimes say that I'm a workaholic, I'm a perfectionist, um, I'm very, uh, I like things exactly the way I am. I like to achieve things I don't like to lose. This is the predominance of the raja. And then there is tama, which is where you're cheating someone, betraying someone, being bad to someone, that is tama. Now, these are the three things. Uh, three states or three gunas and Shri Ganesh is beyond that. That's why we say that Tvam Guna Trayatitaha. The next one is Tvam Avastha Trayatitaha. Now what is Tvam Avastha Trayatitaha? Now Avastha so means a state. Here we are going to talk about the three states which is state of wakefulness, state of dreams, and state of deep sleep. These are considered as three prime states in Sanskrit, which are Jagruti, Nidra, and Swapna, Avastha. So, Tvam Avastha Trayatita, which means you're beyond the three states. Uh, most of the times, if you have been a student and if you have done courses with us, you know we talk a lot about alpha, beta, uh, theta, and delta states of mind. And we, we often use this when we are doing subconscious programming and where we are looking at train people, we are looking at helping people train their subconscious mind to probably 
you know, heal a part of them which believes that they can't have it or when people are facing obstacles in life and we help them release those obstacles and take them to the state of being better healed. So we, we access the states of different states of brain waves. Now, the different brain waves is a very scientific term. Alpha is where we are talking. We know what we are. Beta is where we are talking, where we know what we are talking. Alpha is the state of slight relaxation. Probably if I tell you, close your eyes and take a deep breath, you will feel relaxed. That's the alpha state. Beta is where we are talking. Now, theta is the state where sometimes when you're meditating and you feel, oh, did I just fall asleep? You reach theta and theta is a, the state where a lot of healing can be done. Beyond theta, theta is also the state of state of dreams, the swapna avastha. And beyond that, the nidra avastha is what we call as the delta. Now, this is a state of deep sleep. Many say that when you are in deep sleep, when you reach delta, a lot of healing happens. A lot of medicines which you take if you are not well and you say that, oh, I did, you know, I took my medicine. I went to sleep, I woke up and I so I feel so good. You probably reached Delta. Delta is also the state spiritually where you can access the infinite wisdom of the universe. You may come across a lot of spiritual teachers, a lot of, and that's why you sometimes get insights when you are awake, when you just wake up. So the three avastha are, um, as we call as Jagruti, Nidra and Swapna avastha. And in English, we call them at state of wakefulness, sleeping and dreaming. You are beyond three states of time. Which means you are behind, you are beyond, sorry, not behind. It was a slip of tongue. You are beyond past, present and future. Um, if, if you read, if you happen to read any ancient scriptures, they talk about the concept of being Trikal Darshi, which means one who has who can see the past, can see the future and can see the present right now. And Shri Ganesh can absolutely, he is beyond the three, he is beyond time. And that's why he is beyond Tvam Kalatrayatita. And finally we say Tvam Dehatrayatita. What do you mean by Deha? Deha is body. So you are beyond, Shri Ganesh is beyond the three levels of body, which is your Physical, the physical body is the body which we all can see. Then there is energy body also called as astral or etheric body, which is often called as the sukshma shari, sthul shari is the physical body. And then of course, karan shari is your causal body, which is your spiritual body, which is connected to the deepest wisdom of the universe. So Sri Ganesh is beyond all three bodies. Wow, I think if I keep talking about the Ganesh Atharva Shirsha, I can go on and on and on and it will be just on and on and on. <laughs> so, well, that's the reason I think we need to take a break here and I'll see you in the next episode of Shri Ganesh Atharva Shirsha now in English too. We have the same video in Marathi. So, if you are a Marathi speaker or if you have someone who's a Marathi speaker and a non-English speaker, you can share those videos. It is on the same channel. And if you are an English speaker, and if some, and if you know, or if you know someone who is an English speaker who is not a Marathi speaker, they can see this video. It's my absolute pleasure to reach out to each and every one of you and share this beautiful knowledge. I was lucky to be um, to learn Shri Ganesh Atharva Shirsha from my grandfather, and it's one of the most amazing things. I have ever received in my life. It's priceless. Knowledge is always priceless. So I hope you like this video. And if you like this, please like this. Yeah, if you like this, like this. Share it with everyone. And please, please, please do subscribe to our channel. It really means a lot when you subscribe to our channel. This is Ashwini Chube. To know more about my work, you can log on to www.unicorninsight.com. Thank you, Namaskar, and best wishes to all of you on the auspicious occasion of the Ganesh festival. Thank you.